So there's a game that's just come out for the Apple Silicon Mac, which is a much bigger deal than you might initially think. And the name of the game is Honkai Impact 3rd, which has just received a full Mac release. And today in this video, I'm going to be talking about how well the port runs on the Apple Silicon Mac. And we'll also be talking about the implication of what this new port might bring to Apple Silicon Gaming as a whole. And today's video is sponsored by Mantis Sleep. And I'm wearing the Mantis Sleep Mask Sound. And this is no joke, the most comfortable sleeping mask that I've ever used. Not only is the material lightweight and perforated for maximum airflow and ventilation, the C-shaped eye cups are extremely comfortable and can be easily adjusted to suit any face. And did I mention that this also contains razor thin Bluetooth headphones. These can be adjusted on the side using these convenient blue tabs and have a battery life of a huge 20 hours. And this is going to be absolutely perfect for blocking out light and sound the next time that you're trying to get some sleep in a busy environment. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description to go to the Mantis Sleep website where you can find a huge range of other sleep masks which you can buy. Make sure to use my coupon code Andrew for 10% off your car order. So big thanks to Mantis sleep for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the main content. So you might think Honkai Impact 3rd coming out on Mac, what's the big deal? Apple Silicon Macs are equipped with the M chipset and this is basically the same ARM64 architecture as iPhones and iPads and you might think that basically every single popular iPhone and iPad game should get an instant port to the Mac desktop, especially because we have this native level of compatibility, virtually no work needs to be done. However, unfortunately most of the biggest iPhone and iPad games haven't actually made their way over to the Mac desktops. Now, I've actually made tons of videos about this particular topic in the past, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And really what it boils down to is the fact that the Mac gaming player base is much smaller than the iPhone and iPad player base. And big companies and publishers are reluctant to do the necessary work and investment in order to get these games working on the Mac. They need to do things like support the different resolutions that a Mac can support. And also you need to set up Q&A. So you need customer service to help support issues which Mac gamers might face. And also on macOS you have a few vulnerabilities which you don't necessarily have to deal with on mobile. For example macOS is a much more open platform than iOS. You can do things like run unsigned code and it basically opens up the possibility that players could actually run cheats in the background. So a lot of these companies don't want to make the investment of time and money in order to make these games compatible for macOS. And that's a shame because a lot of the biggest iPhone and iPad games can't run on the Mac because basically the companies and publishers don't want to tick the box to allow publication on the Mac App Store for all the reasons that I've given so far. And we're missing some really big titles which could technically work really well on Mac OS but have been opted out by the developer or the publisher. Games like Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, popular battle royale shooter like PUBG, and huge open world titles like Genshin Impact. However with the release of Honkai Impact 3rd it looks like this might be changing. That's because Honkai Impact 3rd is made by Mihoyo. This is a huge Chinese developer which created other titles like Honkai Star Rail and the aforementioned Genshin Impact. Now Genshin Impact is a huge, huge deal. Personally, I don't really play a huge amount, but I do make tutorials about how to get the game running on the Apple Silicon Mac. In total so far, I've amassed over 1.6 million views in tutorials on Genshin Impact. People really want to play this game on the Mac. Now, Mahoyo are a close partner of Apple. They've been featured many times on the stage and their games are a huge showcase for performance on new Apple devices like the iPhone 15 Pro. And they've basically taken the steps to port one of their less popular games, Honkai Impact onto the Mac desktop. And what makes this Mac port interesting is that if you go on the App Store and you do a search for Honkai, you won't find it on the Mac App Store side. You'll actually find it on the iPhone iPad side and it's actually the iPad app that you're downloading. But this has been modified to take advantage of Mac hardware. And this is using a program called Catalyst, which you can read about. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Basically, when the app is being run on a Mac desktop, it takes advantage of all of these additional Mac features. And it actually performs very well on Apple Silicon Macs. Once you're a little bit ways through the game, you can access the graphics menu and then change some of the graphics settings including changing the frame rate cap from 60 to 120 hertz. This is great if you have a ProMotion display or an external display that can support more than 60 frames per second. So yes I am running this on the N3 Max chip and it's running at 120 hertz at max graphics settings which is of no surprise at all. But what's really cool is that even on the base M1 Apple Silicon Mac this will actually run at 4k at max graphics settings at 60 frames per second. And not only that we also 
have full keyboard and mouse support as well as controller support as well. So there was supposed to be Metal FX support added into the game, but this isn't supported at the moment. Apparently it's going to be added in the future and this would allow graphics upscaling. But frankly, it's not really necessary because the M1 chip can basically run this at max settings at 4K anyway. And what makes this a big deal is the fact that if Mihoyo are going back into their catalog and porting one of their less popular titles to the Mac desktop, then where does that leave other titles like Honkai Star Rail and the aforementioned Genshin Impact? It really looks like they're using Honkai Impact 3rd as a kind of test bed. And if Genshin Impact could receive the same treatment as Honkai Impact 3rd, then this would be one of the biggest games to be released on macOS of all time. And not only this, it would also signal to other developers and publishers that the Mac platform is worth publishing too. And it could even be the spark that convinces other big name games to be ported to the Mac, including games like PUBG and Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. So anyway, I really hope that these big name games do come onto the Mac App Store eventually. But in the meantime, if you did want to play Genshin Impact on the Mac, there are a couple of methods, they're kind of workarounds, which I've made tutorial videos about, which I'll leave a link to in the description. The first one is called YAAGL, or Yet Another Anime Game Launcher, which basically uses Crossover and D3D Metal to run the Windows version of the game on Apple Silicon Macs. There's also another method called PlayCover, which basically sideloads the mobile application to be playable on the Mac desktop. It actually works really well, but it's a little bit janky when it comes to things like keyboard and mouse support. Anyway, you'll find links to these videos in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Mac release of Honkai Impact the Third. How long do you think we're going to be waiting for Genshin Impact to finally come out natively for the Mac? Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.